Hi there. Today we will be talking about our supermarket tour. We decided to conduct a set of observation in Loblaws. First, it's highly accessible. We went to Loblaws located in the Carlton Street in the downtown Toronto. Second, Loblaws is the largest retailer and supermarket chain in Canada, and it purchased one of the largest Asian store TNT in 2009. With excited mood, we start our supermarket adventure. Here we are. It is the entrance of the Loblaws, which located in downtown Toronto. This is its opening hours. Let's go check out what's the secrets of the Loblaws. In order to celebrate the Valentine's Day, Loblaws set the flower section in front of the entrance and the exit to increase the sale of the flowers. The article explains that the supermarket tend to provide extra large and deep shopping carts to encourage consumers to purchase more items. Compared to decades years ago, the wide variety of food in supermarket will make us feel that our life has become come to the stand richer. The sweet smell of garlic and cream tricks your nose as you walk into the Loblaws. Its sweet aroma directs your taste buds to the unpretentious establishment where the Canadian flavor lingers in the air. Near the checkout area, there's a shelf that plays sales product about the cereal. For expectation, they were entering the supermarket. We did not notice and believe that there are lots of strategy of promoting sales. During the set of observation, we found that the level means buy level, so that most popular products are displayed on a prominent place to catch people's eyes. Here we are. We found the cereal aisle. My opinion about the background music of the supermarket is different with my group member. Because I think the background music won't really matter. Actually, the background music will make us feel more comfortable and calm. As a result, consumers will spend more time shopping as well as purchasing more products. About the article, the article was published in 2011, which is eight years ago. So it's actually not really biased, but there are still some differences. But most of the rules about how the shelves are placed are still very similar, all the same. The yellow tag in the video is a marketing strategy, which buying two can get a cheaper price per box than buying one. According to a great company study, consumers are mostly encouraged to buy something of another based on its price. Therefore, in the Loblaws, it grows a brand with cheaper price, always placed near another brand to get more competitive advantages. When we enter the cereal section, there are many different cereals with fancy packaging placed on the whole shelves. The article mentioned that the cartoon characters on the cereal boxes always look downward because it will attract the eyes of children. Then children will try to convince their parents to purchase the product. Also, we found that there are many toys and spoons to attract the children's attention. From the price tag, we can see the differences between the eye-level products and the products placed at the bottom row of the shelf. The prices of the eye-level products are mostly between three to five, but the price of the products which place at the bottom are ten to twelve. Now I'm agree with the tags which mention the idea about the eye-level is the buy level. General Mills and Kellogg's were the two biggest competitors in the aisle, as the article said. Kellogg's and General Mills each control about 32 percent of the market. In the Loblaws, we can see that most of the products that are displayed on the shelf are belong to those two product companies. General Mills carry products that like Curious, Cinnamon Toast, Crunch, and Kellogg's having competitive products like Special K, Crown Flakes, and Fruit Loops. Let's take a look at at the main ingredients. The Froot Loops and the Cheerios are products mostly consumed by kids, but their main ingredients are sugar and corn flour. Um, they are not as healthy as everyone thinks. It is all about what the brand want the consumers to believe. After we doing the research, we can see that most of the cereal with colorful packaging are placed on the left of the shelf. In the opposite shelf. Most of the packaging are simple in nature. 
This is a marketing technique because human eye moves from the left to the right. Also, we found that healthy products tend to be placed on the top shelf for element of the aisle. Our group actually have same consideration of the aisle that we choose because cereal is the food that we take every day, especially for children and young adults. We want to seek for the truth about what we really eat. We found there is some overnight oats which packaged in small boxes in different flavor. These packaging shows that there is a trend which customers prefer buying instant food. Besides the cereal, the number three aisle also have other products. All of them are sweet and are common stuff appears in our daily breakfast, like syrup, jam, and craft occupy a large space in the peanut butter section. To speak of craft, it is the third largest food corporation in the world. And it's under Philips Morris Tobacco Company. As we mentioned before, the TNT was purchased by the Loblaws since 2009. We can see many decorations about Asia in this area. This clearly reflects the multicultural character of the Loblaws. Loblaws have a small buffet for customers to choose their salads or meals they want. At the same time, the tables. Live music and football games on the screen are provided for customers to enjoy their meal. Loblaws are now providing many different services, such as food tasting, shop online, pick up in store services, which brings more convenience for the customers as well as attract more consumers. From this experience, we learned the choice of the food system and how the supermarket offer and maintain their products to attract customer attention to purchase stuff they don't even need. We will be careful when we buy food in any supermarkets and make consideration before any purchase. From now on, we are changing a bit our shopping habits, like not just grabbing that anything we think it is dazzling. Or anything gets our attention because it's a lovely package. We were more careful on choosing products, such as checking the ingredient chart first. Through this side visit of Loblaws, we are surprised about the fact that we did not know before that our buying food in supermarket is an existing fact that happen all the time. It is also one of the important reason that people become overweight for all the age range. In the supermarket, the various options of food is also an illusion. By combining previous studies of food industry and group observation, there are more than 90% of food in the supermarket is actually composed of corn, soybean, or both, like Coca-Cola or even meat. As we investigate the cereal aisle, some products are marketed as healthier than the regular one. But when we saw the ingredients, we were somewhat disappointed. Most of them include lots of sugar and corn. That would cause higher risk of getting diabetes and obesity. The result of previous research suggests that characteristics of local food environments may play a role in prevent those healthy issues. Therefore, we think supermarkets should pay more attention, care, on health and green product to promote their sustainable development. In the future shopping, we will try not to observe it only by the fancy packaging, such as movie stars staring right into her eyes. In the original and smart shopping is our common goal in the future, and we will care more about what we do. With our re-eating and take this as our responsibility, as something we have to do. In the capital society, organic food and healthy food can only survive and develop if they make profits. And as consumers, we can physically reverse the situation of passive consumption. As soon as we start asking for good, healthy food, the market will respond. You and I can change the world with every bite of. Our food. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions, please feel free and contact us by the email.